Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. Now this video is going to be about how to screed concrete and how to do it the easiest way and the fastest way. So for you guys that are just learning or you guys that have been in the business for a little bit, this is hopefully going to help you out as far as screeding your concrete floors and your concrete slabs. Now before I get into all that, I just want to say I got a really special announcement coming up at the end of the video. But the key to it is you got to watch the whole video. So you got to watch the entire video. And then again, at the end, I got a really special announcement I think you guys are really going to like. So let's get right into the video. So screeding concrete, you know, doing it by hand or doing it with uh, the new fiber screeds that are out today, which is going to be easiest. You know, let, let me know down in the comments which way you guys screed concrete. Do you still do it by hand? Do you have a fiber screed? Um, if you don't have a Vibra screed, are you thinking about getting one? Would you like to get one? Well, uh, this video is going to show you both ways and, you know, how we do it and what I think is easiest. Now, for you guys that don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. I live in Maine. My specialize in concrete floors and concrete flat work. Uh, we do a ton of decorative concrete. So if you like that kind of stuff, I mean, go ahead down there and hit the Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I come out with a couple videos a week trying to teach you guys just what I do to help, hopefully help you guys and make your jobs easier. So the first thing we do, you know, obviously we get on the job. We got a concrete floor here. We got a house to pour. We got to get the concrete all, all dumped out. So, you know, we got a pretty big crew here today. Generally, there's just me, Luke, and Darren. But in the summertime, we do pick up some extra help. I got my daughter there helping. She's in the white shirt right there. Uh, her best friend, Abby's in the yellow shirt. So there's summer help. They're, they're both in college. And the guy we're actually pouring the floor for is here today helping. He's got him and his guy here today. He's the foundation contractor. So we got a pretty big crew today, which, which always makes it nice. So what we normally do is, you know, we normally dump out the the whole truck here which is probably got about eight or nine yards on this truck We've got a couple trucks here for both this house and garage and then we'll get rid of that first truck so we'll get him dumped out get it, get it all spread out and get him out of the way and get the second truck pulled in before we start any screeding but so if you're new to this you might not want to do that so once we get it dumped out next thing we got to do is is get it to grade and you can see Luke and Darren, they're magging the edges to grade, which is top of wall. Now I'm using my Topcon laser right there, the RLH5B. That's the one I recommend to you guys if you're doing concrete flat work. Um, I'll have a link for that down in the description. But I use that to set my wet pads in the middle of the floor. So I'm just magging a wet pad, and then I'm using that laser to make that pad level with the outside, the top of the wall there. And that's what we're going to use the screed by. Number one, subscribe to my channel. Make a note of that, okay, guys? Um, you're going to want to know why here at the end of the video. So I'm um, making my pads to screed from, and I'm doing them strategically. I'm doing them about the straight edge, the screed width from the outside of the wall, and then I'm also doing them as wide as the viber screed. You can see I'm going to be viber screeding this in a minute. That's sitting right there to the right on the ground right there. So... I got to make those wet pads close enough to the outside wall so I can use that viber screed to screed with. We always strike our, our wet pads by hand like this. And the reason we do that is because we want to just be super extra fussy that we get these level. You can see how my guys kick screed there. Look how in sync they are. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. We've been doing this for years. so. We'll hand screed those wet pads, and then now after we get those wet pads all struck, then we'll we'll use the viber screed to come down that bay. We'll call it, we call that a bay right there. We've been screeding that way for I mean I've been doing this since 1980, guys, almost 40 years, and that's just the way we, we were taught. It's the way I was taught. It's the way I taught my guys, and. This was before we even had Viber Screeds. You can see my guys are screeding that one little bay over there by hand. 
just to get it out of the way while I'm making my, my wet pads. And then I'm going to grab the Viber Screed right here. And then I'm going to come down that one bay. Now I'm using the Shockwave Viber Screed from Marshalltown. I, this is the one I recommend, guys. I highly recommend this. I've used them all. And there are some good ones out there. Don't get me wrong. But this one is like the Cadillac of Viber Screeds. I've never... I've never used a Viber Screed that runs this smooth, this quiet, and is just so easy to operate. This, this thing's definitely the best one I've ever run. So I highly recommend this one. You can see I just set it on the concrete. It kind of floats on the surface. And then I just crank the throttle up about halfway. You don't even have to put it full. And I'm just easily pulling back. And I'm watching my two ends. You can, if you watch my head, I'm going back and forth from one side to the other. I'm watching the ends of the screed, making sure they're both touching and they're not riding high or they're not digging in. The key are the two rakers there. You can see I got T and Abby raking behind me and their job is to keep the concrete just a tiny bit higher than the level of the floor. So the screed, the vibra screed's pulling that concrete back. They don't want to get it low and they don't want to get it too high. So I mean, they got a really important job. The rakers are key to making these floors level. But that thing's so easy to run. Look how easy it is for me to run that thing. And then, you know, you'll watch Darren over there with that eight-foot hand screen. He's going to bend over and kick his legs. Or he just bends over and pulls back and then steps back. It's just ten times easier using that Viber Screed. And Marshalltown's got a really good one here, so I highly recommend that. There'll be a link for that down in the description too, guys, if you guys want to check that out. You got a nice little kickstand on it. You just, when you're done, you put the kickstand down, it holds itself up, and you're ready to dump out some more concrete. You can see Darren there, you know, he's screeding by hand. You got to bend over and pull the concrete back. Number two, like the video. So, again, Take note of that. You're going to need to know that at the end here too. So if you're finding value in this video, go ahead down there and hit the like button now. I'd really appreciate that. It helps my analytics with, with YouTube and it helps rank these, U, these videos higher in YouTube so more people can see them. So we're going to finish pouring this house out. We got, again, stay tuned to the end of the video, guys. I got a real special announcement coming up for you. You're not going to want to miss it. This is gonna be this is gonna be super cool and I know you guys are gonna like this, so stay tuned to the end of the video. We're getting this poured out. Um, we're pouring about a probably around a six inch slump here today with a 3500 PSI concrete that's got mi uh, microfiber in it for reinforcement. And my concrete always has a water reducer in it. So it allows us to pour the slump a little looser, like this six, without adding more water. And what that does is, without adding more water, is it allows us to maintain the strength and the integrity of the concrete without getting it too wet with water. That's what the water reducer is for. It's, it's uh, just something that we normally use every day. And uh, it just works really well for us. If you guys haven't used that stuff yet, you could ask your batchman when they when they load, you know, when you call up and order your concrete, you could ask for a, a mid-range. That's what we use. It's called a mid-range. They have a mid-range and then they have a high range that allows you to pour the concrete even looser if you need to. But there's really no need to pour it any looser than about a six. A six is a slump too. Slump is how wet or how dry you pour the concrete. Um, typically... With a floor, we like to keep it, you know, around a five or a six for a slump with that water reducer. And then you're not going to lose any of the strength of the concrete, which which also helps control, you know, any random cracks too. All right, so we got some more concrete poured out. Uh, Luke and Darren are striking the pad by hand. And then I'm walking around with that, with the Shockwave Vibra Screed. That thing's about... With that, it's got a 12 foot blade on it. So that thing weighs about 35 pounds, right in that general area, 35 to 40 pounds. It's not too bad to move around, it's pretty easy. It's got that really nice handle on top. So it, it makes it pretty easy to just to pick up and carry around. You can see one pull and that thing starts right up. It's got a Honda motor on it. So one pull 
and you're off and running. And your job as the guy running the, the vibra screed is just to slowly pull it back, watching your two ends, make sure you both your ends are scoring, and let your rakers do most of the work. I mean, they're pulling the concrete and pushing it just to make sure that the concrete's all filled in, any holes are filled in, and any highs are pulled back. If they do their job, then the guy running the vibra screed's job is really easy. So, I mean, realistically, if you had to, if there, if there was just two of you, you could do this with just two people. Two people could could pour this floor with this Vibris Creed. Um, I'm not saying it wouldn't be a lot of work, but it's possible. One guy running the screed, one guy raking. You know, you do a bay or two, and then you stop, you bull float, then you pour out some more. You don't need a big crew like this. The Vibris Creed, you know, really takes the place of a, an extra person. You can see I'm just letting that thing float on the surface, watching both ends. The key is just to keep moving. Don't stop and start. Keep moving nice and slow. And then let your rakers do the work. You can see Luke right there and Tia. They're pulling the concrete back. They're pushing a little up if there's a little hole, making sure my, my boot prints are filled in. And they're just allowing me just to you know keep my eye on both ends. This house floor, you know, with that Vibra Screed and, the, you know, this size crew took us about probably 30 minutes to pour like this, pour and get all straight edged, all screeded out like this. And it's pretty fast. Again, I, you know, I, I come from back in the day when we didn't have these, so I'm definitely used to hand screeding a lot. And then it took me a while before I decided to get one of these. Because I just thought I didn't need one, you know, I, I could just hand screed forever. But once I got one and tried it, it's just, it, I mean, really, guys, it's so much easier. Let's see, you just pick it up, set it down to the next bay, and just keep going. Coming right up here guys, the special announcement's coming right up, so stay tuned for a few more minutes, keep watching the video. Number three, so you're going to comment down in the comments, Shockwave Vibra Screed. Okay, so keep that in mind. So this house consisted of a couple parts, we got this one main part here, and then off to the right where you see the chute from the concrete truck, we got another little part to this house back there that we're gonna pour and then actually there's a garage too I'm not gonna show the garage on this video but that'll be on a different video but we're gonna show you pouring the, the parts of the rest of this house here real quick so coming right up all right so here we are now the special announcement is this I'm gonna give away one of these shockwave vibra screeds and all you need to do to enter is watch the entire video, plus do the three things that I posted in the video, number one, number two, and number three. So if you haven't seen those, if you skip to the back, you gotta go back and watch the video. If you don't remember what they were, then just go back real quick and go through the video again and pay attention, write them down, number one, number two, and number three. And that's all you need to do is uh, those three things and you have a really good chance of winning this Shockwave Vibra Screed. Now Marshalltown's sponsoring this video, so I mean they're going to give the Vibra Screed away. I'll pick the winner on Friday, November 29th, which is going to be Black Friday. That's going to be kind of cool. And uh, so in that video that comes out on that Friday, I'll announce the winner of this, and then Marshalltown will will ship it out to you for free. So that's going to be pretty cool guys. I mean look how easy it is to straight edge that bay versus Darren over there hand screeding with that 8 foot straight edge. So there's, there's virtually no effort at all for me. Um, the rakers, there's a little bit more effort for them but it's all about the vibra screed, how, how easy, how smooth, how level this thing makes the floor. 
Uh, Marshalltown, like I said, got a great Vibra Screed, so I highly recommend getting this. And all you got to do is number one, number two, and number three. So if, if you don't remember what they were, go back and watch the video again real quick. And take a note of what those were. Do each three things. And then I'll, uh, I'll pick a winner. And we'll announce it on Black Friday, November 29th. Well, that's it, guys. That's the easiest way to screed concrete. And I'll see you on the next video.